Welcome to Vocaster. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your microphone to your Vocaster, set the gain using auto gain, show you how to set up your microphone correctly, including microphone techniques and appropriate microphone practices such as distance and environment, and finally, show you how to use the enhance button. Connecting a microphone to your Vocaster is simple. For this, all you'll need is a microphone and an XLR cable. Vocaster Studio Pack owners will have these available in the box. Connect one end of the XLR cable to your microphone and then the other end into the host input of your Vocaster. If you have a Vocaster 2, feel free to connect a second microphone to the guest input. For this, you'll need an additional microphone and an XLR cable. Depending on the type of microphone you're using, you may require phantom power. We'll cover phantom power in the next chapter. The two main types of microphone you're likely to be using are dynamic and condenser microphones. Dynamic microphones like the Vocaster DM1 and Vocaster DM14V that come with your Vocaster Studio Packs don't require any extra power to work. However, condenser microphones like this Scarlett CM25 Mark III and Scarlett CM25 Mark II need power to work. This comes in the form of phantom power, which you can switch on by pressing the 48V button on the back panel of your Vocaster 1 or 2. So if you're a Vocaster 2 user and you want to apply auto gain to either your host or guest microphones, simply long press the host or guest buttons here. Or alternatively, open up Vocaster Hub and select the auto gain icons you can see on screen here in either the host or guest panels. But if you're a Vocaster 1 user, simply press on the auto gain button you see here once or again, open up Vocaster Hub and select the auto gain icon within the host panel. And then speak into the microphone at about this distance for 10 seconds in the voice you're going to use to record. And once the Vocaster Hub app or your unit has stopped counting down, auto gain will have set the level for that microphone and you're ready to start recording. You can still manually adjust the levels with the gain knob at any time. For Vocaster 1 users, simply adjust the gain dial. For Vocaster 2 users, you must select the microphone you want to adjust, host or guest, and then adjust the gain dial accordingly. To set up a microphone correctly, you need to know what you're recording and then decide on which microphone stand best suits the recording. There are many types of microphone stands used for different types of recording. We recommend the following. When you're at a desk, a tabletop microphone stand or a tabletop boom microphone stand will do the job. In a freestanding environment, a tripod floor-based microphone stand or a floor standing tripod is perfect. You can identify a good podcast recording environment by looking at the following criteria. A small room, a room with a lot of things in, for example, sofas, couches, or beds, things that dampen the reverberation of sound within a room, carpeted or wooden floors, ideally no tile or concrete, and a quiet location, not anywhere with intrusive sounds, for example, construction work or traffic. You can filter a lot of this out later in post-production, but the more you can do ahead of time will better the final recording. Here are some locations we recommend. A bedroom, a living room, or a small office space. Making sure your microphone is tight to the stand or cradle it's in will ensure no shakes or vibrations affect your recording. With your Vocaster 1 and Vocaster 2 Studio packages, your microphones come with adapters that help secure them to any stand.
So this is the sort of distance you need to be away from your microphone whilst recording. This gives you a nice bass rich tone, perfect for your podcast. You can use your headphones to monitor all of the changes in your voice. As you can hear, the closer I get to the microphone, the louder my B's and P's become. These are plosives that I'll explain to you in the next chapter. And the further away I get from the microphone, the less audible things become. So, again, around an inch away from the microphone is perfect. Beware of plosives. Whether you're using a condenser or dynamic microphone, you'll always need to be aware of plosives. Plosives are sudden bursts of air into the microphone during speech, which can result in the microphone distorting and ruining your recording. Words with Bs and Ps will cause this the most. All Vocaster podcasting microphones are designed to reduce this. If you find plosives are continuing to be a problem, speaking slightly across the microphone can help, as less air will hit the microphone directly. And finally, if plosives are still an issue, you can also use a windshield. Simply mount it over your microphone and you're ready to go. Touching the microphone. Microphones are sensitive to being touched. Try not to handle the microphone while recording, as these movements will significantly impact the final recording. The enhance button reveals the true quality of your voice. You can get the clearest sound first time. Enhance features podcaster approved voice presets bringing out the best in any voice. To use Enhance, simply select the Enhance icon buttons. If you have Vocaster Hub open, you can select the on-screen Enhance icon, where in the drop-down menu, you can see the different options. Radio voice, clean voice, warm voice, or bright voice. You can use these settings to overemphasize your voice or compensate for different sounding voices. For example, making a bright voice warmer to sound better in your podcast. Thanks for watching. Thank you.